Andrew K.P. Long is the chairman and CEO of Andrew Long International Consultants and Investments Limited. He's now joining us live from Hong Kong. Mr. Long, welcome to the show. Thank you. In your view, what do you think is pushing Xi to delegate powers that he previously clung to closely? Well, first of all, I think there is a misconception that the presidency uh, just wants to concentrate power for the sake of concentrating power. This is far from the reality. The, the fact remains that China is facing a number of challenges across the board. Um, and the latest one, of course, is uh, finance. Um, this is characterized by a huge uh, debt uh, incurred by local authorities because the local authorities were given the responsibility of financing their um, local infrastructure, um, but without any um, high degree of subsidy from the central government. So the local authorities rely on um, developing the land and, and allocating the land for uh, property development. Um, and then um, in order to get the, the, the revenue uh, from land sales, this has uh, engendered a huge property bubble, um, as we've seen in recent months. Um, uh, rattling the economy um, and destabilizing um, um, social uh, order. Um, so I think that this latest uh, decision uh, is really to um, get the grip on um, the various um, uh, aspects of um, financial stability in China, mm -hmm. because financial stability is not just the st stability of the banks, it's not just the stability of the lending loans, but it affects the, the whole community. And then um, uh, Premier Li Chang, of course, is a trust, trusted um, um, a deputy. Right. Um, that's why he was chosen to be the Premier. Uh, and now, uh, because of the rising uh, debt situation in the local um, um, uh, authorities, uh, and then a huge pro uh, property bubble, and then increasing evidence of uh, property outflow, um, because of the, the various problems China is facing, uh, it's high time for China to set up a central uh, um, uh, um, a regulatory, um, super regulatory authority uh, called the Central Financial Commission to be headed by Premier Li Chang. Mr. Long, let's now talk about the power structure. Could this be an indication of a changing power structure in China in Xi's third term, do you think? No, I don't think so. Um, I think that there's uh, the, um, the all the, uh, the, the the party cadres um, that um, have supported uh, the third term um, really regard Xi as the center. There is no other um, sort of uh, political challenger in sight. Um, as I said, uh, um, Premier Li Chang was handpicked by President Xi, and then um, there was a long, long period. Um, during um, President Xi's um, rise to power, uh, before he even became uh, the party leader or even um, in, in the Politburo. I mean, uh, Premier Li Chang was uh, worked very closely with him uh, throughout his career path. Um, um, well, of course, the, uh, Li Chang, if he proves um, um, a kind of uh, a very capable uh, deputy, uh, he could well eventually um, the, although there is no time scale, uh, take over. But I don't think that there is any kind of plan uh, or intention that, that, that there is a sharing of power. But even um, in the financial sector, um, although the day-to-day -day, uh, regulatory responsibilities rest really Chang, when it is really important, I think that it would be incumbent on Premier Li Chang to report back to to President Xi, even though President Xi doesn't have the time or all the, um, 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 the, the detailed knowledge uh, to manage the, the day to day affairs. But I think the eventual power still rests with um, President Xi and is, is really the core. Uh, and this core has huge support mm -hmm. uh, from the Chinese people because, according to the um, recent research. Uh, by international organizations and institutions like the Harvard Kennedy School, Ash Center report two years ago, uh, the New York-based uh, Elderman Trust Barometer, E-D-E-L-M-A-N, Elder, uh, Elderman Trust Barometer, and the Paris-based um, research center, Ipsos, I-P-S-O-S, Ipsos Center, uh, they all confirmed that the Chinese people 
um, really um, support um, the rally of the Chinese people in support of the government is ranked the highest uh, um, uh, in the world, multiple ranks ahead of many de democratic countries, including the United States. So the power is still um, revolves around Mr. C, but in terms of the um, rising challenges in finance, uh, it's high time to set up a um, a super a, a super regulator to be headed by his deputy uh, Li Chang. Mr. Long, finally, and make it brief, kindly. Uh, you've talked about the financial system, and you've also talked about the economic instability in China. Do you think downturns in the economy and other areas is forcing Xi to take these measures of divesting his roles? Uh, yes, in, in a way, uh, because the, the, all the problems are coming to the fore. As I said, that there is a huge uh, property bubble. Uh, there is an, um, the economy is still uh, relatively weak, uh, even though it has um, uh, recovered. Um, and then uh, there are so, so many um, uh, deep-seated problems facing the local authorities, uh, facing the, um, uh, and even corruption in, in some of the financial institutions. So I think that this is high time for, for, for President Xi um, to set up this um, super, super regulator. All right, I've been talking to Andrew K.P. Long. He's the chairman and CEO of Andrew Long International Consultants and Investments Limited. Mr. Long, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you very much indeed. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.